going to be doing today are 45, 45, 90s. They're called special right triangles because you do not need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find them. So you don't need to be squaring big numbers. They have a relationship that occurs. So let's look at these two. This is a 45, 45, 90, meaning that if base angles are congruent, what do we know about the sides? Yeah, it's an isosceles triangle, which means that this is 2. So if we wanted to find the hypotenuse, all we would have to do is do the Pythagorean theorem. I didn't even give it to you in the right way to be able to... So then we can take the square root of both sides and simplify it. Since this is not in context, you may not just plug it into your calculators. You have to do the factor trees. So I get x equals 2 square root of 2. Okay, so again, it's a 45, 45, 90. We call it a 45, 45, 90. We know triangles add up to 180. 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. Um, but since the base angles are congruent, we know the sides are congruent. This is isosceles. So we can do 4 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. So I have x equals 2, not 2, 4 square root of 2. So look at your two answers and look at the side lengths that we knew at the beginning. What is something you notice about both of those hypotenuses? Um, I don't even know what the plural hypotenuse is right now. Yeah. How about the hypotenuse? Yeah, what do you notice? They're both radical too, right? So that's the first thing. What's the other thing you notice, Tucker? So this is a 2 here, right? And in front of the radical 2 is a? This is a 4 here. And in front of the radical 2 is a? 4. So they are both. So you'll notice that it is leg square root 2 equals the hypotenuse. Leg square root 2 equals the hypotenuse. Okay, when you're ready, you can flip. So what is this 45-45-90 relationship that we are going to talk about here? It is on the next page. If you have any number given to you, you can find any of the three sides with this relationship. And I'm going to say it this way because you have to have this memorized for your quiz. A 45-45-90 is n, n, n root 2. Where am I getting those from? What do you see that here? n is one of the legs. n is another one of the legs. And n right root 2 is the hypotenuse. So n represents the legs. n root 2 represents the hypotenuse. When you get your homework tonight, at the top of your piece of paper, you need to draw this triangle. Do you understand me? Everybody got that? Yes. Okay. The more you draw it, the more you'll have it memorized because you're going to need to know two special triangles. We're going to do a 30, 60, 90 as well tomorrow, so you need to know two of them. This one is the easier of the two because two of the sides are the same. 
So how are we going to use this to find sides? And this is where it gets confusing. So please, please, please stop me if you have questions, okay? Like I said, this is second nature to me. That doesn't mean it's second nature to you. And I'm going to do it kind of in a slow way so that you guys kind of see what I'm doing. So as they get harder, you can see where it's coming from. So we know a 45, 45, 90 triangle is N, N, N root 2. So I'm redrawing that picture that you guys have in the image above just to get used to it. We know that that's what the 45, 45, 90 triangle looks like. So we are going to use these pieces and label all of the lengths on our triangle this way. So opposite a 45 degree angle is a N. So this is an N. Opposite a 45 degree angle is a N. So this is an N. And opposite the 90 degree angle is a N square root of 2. If two things are labeled as the same, if two things are labeled as the same, please don't be using the Pythagorean theorem. You guys need to use the actual rules here. But if two things are labeled as the same, what do we use in math? What is the same in math? Somebody's whispering it. What is it, Mariah? It's equal. So we're saying n is the same as 3 because they're on the same side. So we're saying n is equal to 3. Well, in this case, that means that then this side here is also 3 because n is equal to 3. What is the length of x then? Because x is the same thing as n root 3, but what can we replace n with? 3. We know n is 3. So x equals 3 root 2. I know, but I'm asking you not to because that's not the point of today's lesson. I wasn't saying you can't use it. I'm saying that you need to know how to do the special rights. Okay, so it's easy if you're given one of the legs because the hypotenuse is just a leg radical 2. So it's just 3 radical 2. It gets more difficult when you're given a hypotenuse. So again, we're going to label this. Opposite a 45 degree angle is a... Nope, not. It's a leg. And we label legs with what letter in this case? So this is N. This is N. And what's opposite the 90 degree angle? Which is labeled as N square root of 2. So if two things are on the same side, that means that they are the same length. If two things are the same in math, what do we do with them? We set them equal to each other. Well, n equals x does not help us, does it? Because that's two different variables. But we have, an ex we have an equation here we can solve for. Do you see how we have n square root of 2 is equal to 10? Can we solve for n in this then? Look at this. n square root of 2 equals 10. How could I solve for n? What would you tell me to do? What would you tell me to do to solve for n? Jordan? You don't want to square root it. You're not going to divide by n, but you're going to divide by something. You want to get n by itself. We're going to divide by radical 2 because they're being multiplied. The inverse of multiplication is, what's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So this gets n alone. I have a problem, though. This can't be our answer. Why can't this be our answer? You guys just took a quiz on this. Tucker. There's a radical in the denominator, so we have to rationalize. So what do we have to multiply numerator and denominator by? Radical 2. Some of you guys are probably lost, so I'm going to step back after this, and I will go over it again, so don't worry. So 10 and radical 2 cannot be multiplied together, so that's why it's just 10 radical 2. One's inside, one's outside. Both are inside. 2 times 2 is 4. Can't do a factor 3 there, but I can here. What do you notice about 10 and 2? Do they have anything in common? They, can be they both can be divided by 2. So this is actually 5 root 2. 
So we know that n is 5 root 2. So what do we know n is the same thing as? X. So do we know what our legs are now? What are they? They are 5 squared of 2. So this is where it gets confusing because you don't want it to have a radical on the legs because it doesn't look that way in this image, but it's okay to have that. So let me step back, and I, like I said, I'll do more examples of this, and just kind of talk through this specific example again, and then I'm going to do another one with you, and then, I don't know, there's probably, there's a couple of them here. So we'll keep going through them. What? Wait, where do you get in Okay, so the first thing you should do every single time you have special right triangles, so today is 45, 45, 90, Friday's going to be 30, 60, 90, okay? But you're going to have those two draw, you're going to have this image that I have up here always drawn on the top of your paper. So when you have both of them, you'll have both of the triangles drawn on your paper. Um, once you get your paper, you're going to decide is it a 45, 45, 90, and then when you learn another one, you'll decide if it's a 30, 60, 90. Once you decide that, you put these labels on the triangle in the corresponding spots. The ends are opposite the 45. So this is 45, this is 90, which means that this is 45, because 45 plus 45 is 90. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why we put ends here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, n root 2 is opposite the 90, so that's where we got this n root 2 from. All right, so that's the very first thing you should do is label the sides with like the original special right triangle piece, that, that big slide there. Okay? The second thing you do is then you ask yourself, you know that if two things are on the same length, that they are the same. So we know that n is on the same side as x. So they are the same because the, the <coughs> things are the same. They're on the same length. So we set them equal. We also know that n root 2 is on the same side as 10. So that's why we set them equal because these two have to be the same because they're I'm labeling that length the same way. Okay. So from there, I set up the equation n root 2 equals 10. That way we can find what n is, because if we know what n is, we know what x is, because they're the same. It doesn't matter if you write n or x equals 5 squared root 2. <coughs> um, technically, no. If you told me that 5 root 2 was the answer, I would just be happy that you got to that answer. I mean, so, like, if it was an upper level class, I would probably be a little bit stricter with that stuff. But for you guys, I'd be like, oh, yes, you got it. So, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that the technicality of things, I, get, I would get stricter and stricter by, based on, like, the level of the class. But does that make a little bit more sense? So then we just divide it by root 2 to get n alone, but we had to rationalize because you can't have a radical in the denominator, so that's what we did. Simplify, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that's why we got our answer is that. So let's try this again. So on the 45, 45, 90, we first label it with these pieces. So this is the same as, what would I put here? Okay, Alana says n. Do you guys agree? Okay, Brandon, Beeman, what would I put on this side? What? And it's opposite a 45 degree angle. Ben, what would I put on this side? <coughs> Be careful, it's opposite the 90. What is opposite the 90? Opposite 90 here is, we're always referring back to this image here. For you guys, you have like the big one above it, so I just redrew it here. But we're always referring back to this image here. So opposite of 45, we put n's. Opposite of the 90, we put, so this is a 90 here. Opposite there is n root 2. So we're just referring back to that image. So when two things are on the same side, that means they're the same length. And if two things are the same in math, what sign do we use? Equal, so we're saying n is the same as x, and 3 root 2 is the same as n root 2, right? Well, n being equal to x means there's two variables. We can't do much there. But there's only one variable in this equation here we created. So we can solve for that one. So I have 3 root 2 equals n root 2. So I just need to get n alone. What would you tell me to do, Dylan, to get that alone? By what? Uh, 
we're trying to get n alone. What is multiplying with n? Not 2. What is multiplying with the n? That's not just 2. That's root 2. So the inverse of multiplication is, so what do you need to divide by on this side? Root 2. What do you notice, though, on this one? Do we have to do any rationalizing for this one? Because those cancel there. What else cancels over here? Don't those also cancel over here? You see that? So that's a little bit of less work. So 3 is equal to n. But we know n is the same thing as x, so that means x equals 3. So I've just done another example. Look at it and see if you need me to go over that again. Please ask questions. Tucker. So, no, okay, here's the thing. I do this because not everybody can see that, all right? I need to, as a teacher, I have to create a way that teaches every single person in this room. If you can see it without that work, it is fine. Like for me, I can stare at these problems and I can just tell you the answers. Does that make sense? Because I know what's going on with the problems. For some of you, you might have already picked up on that. Others of you may never pick up on that, and that is fine. That's why I'm giving you a way to do it if you can't pick up on it that way. Does that make sense? I, when I was in high school, my teachers did not show it to me this way. They made us like just memorize and figure it out like the other way, and I want you guys to be able to do it without that. Does that make sense? But what Tucker was saying with this one is he noticed right away that this is a 3 in front of a root 2, and since this is n root 2 here, that that must have mean that these are three. Now, that's not as easy on this one here, right, Tucker? Because this doesn't have a root two in it. So you'd have to figure out how to get that root two out of it. Do you see the difference there? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. can use that when we're doing the hypotenuse one. You use this, you're saying? No, 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 the one on the right, where we can do it with some threes. So we can use that when we're given the hypotenuse. Well, you're given the hypotenuse here, but it doesn't have a radical with it. The reason you could do it here is because it gave you it with a radical 2. That's the only reason it was a little bit quicker on that one. All right, find each of the variables. We're still using special rights. I'm going to draw that triangle again. So I'm going to draw my 45, 45, 90 again. Okay, so the first thing I told you guys you need to do is label the sides. So Hannah, what is this side labeled as? N. Landon, what is this side labeled as? It's labeled as... Blank. I have it over here. It's not blank. What is it going to be based on this one? Remember, we put this triangle on every single one of our triangles, which is that main page. You always refer back to this triangle in your notes and you label all of the sides with these variables. Does that make sense? So, so perfect. So Melinda, what would this side be then? Okay, so if they're on the same side, that must mean they're the same length, which must mean that they are equal. So those two pieces are equal. X is the same as n root 2. It has two variables. We can't solve that. But n is the same as... So we really don't have much work that we need to do here, do we? We know n is the same thing as 8, right? So isn't x just 8 root 2? So these are the, it's the easiest if you're given a leg. The hypotenuse just has a little bit more work. Now, tomorrow, or it's Friday, there will be more work almost every single way because each of the side lengths is a different thing. So we have to find both of the variables. So we need x and y in this case. So the first thing we do is we take that original triangle on this page and stamp it on top of the other triangle. So, Ayana, what would you label this 
side as. N, good. Nick, what would you label this side as? Uh, N. Good. And who have I not talked too much today yet? Paige, what would you label this side as? So again, if two things are on the same side, that means they're the same length, which makes them equal. So n is the same thing as y, and n is the same thing as x. Does it make sense that x and y are going to be the same thing here? Yeah, because this is a 45, 45, 90, making it isosceles. So shouldn't those two lengths be the same anyways? So it makes sense that they're both that way. So in this case, what are we going to have to do? Can somebody raise their hand and tell me what I need to do to figure out what n is? Because it's not as easy in this case. What are you going to have to do? Fucker? So we have to solve for n in n squared root 2 equals 4. Because that n is not isolated yet, we have to solve that. <coughs> So, Cameron, what would you do first to solve for n here? Divide by what? Good. In this case, do we have to rationalize? Do we have to rationalize this one? Bryce, how do we rationalize this one? So 4 divided by 2 is 2 root 2. So we're saying n is the same thing as 2 root 2. So what does that mean x and y are? That means x equals 2 root 2 and y equals 2 root 2. I know, that's what I'm always concerned about, is, like, you guys leaving. But you guys should have, like, 20-ish minutes, maybe a little bit more to work on homework. So that'll be good, because we only have one more slide. You know, so you can ask me questions and practice it. Yeah, Tucker. So it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't have to be the hypotenuse to be square root 2? No. Okay. Like, the legs could be, like, the legs could be any sort of radical as well. You mean, like, the ending like answer? Yeah. Yeah, no. This just has to do with, like, this is just the relationship. It's like saying, like, if this instead was a 2, you're just saying you're basically doubling it, right? Well, this one's radical 2 it. That's not actually a thing. I just made that up. But, you know, instead of doubling it, that's what you're multiplying it by. Okay. So, label each of your sides with the correct thing in the triangle. So, in number 6, label it with the n. n, n root 2 in the correct spot. For me, label it at n, n, n root 2 in the correct spot for me. See if we can do it. Put the n, n, n root 2 in the correct spot. Okay. Do most of you have that label it? Or are you just redrawing it there? Good. Good. Well, maybe. Did you put this one as n? Opposite. So opposite of 45 is n. Opposite of 90 is n root 2. Okay. So just be careful there. Oh, I thought it said 3. I was like, where are you getting n root 3 from? I think most of you guys understand the labeling part. Do you have an equal sign between your n and your root 2, or does it just say n root 2? Okay, just want to make sure you... I was probably accidental, but that's okay. So most of you guys did a good job. It's opposite the 45s are n's, 
and opposite the 90 is n root 2. If they're on the same side, we can set them equal to each other. So that means that n is the same thing as what? Which means that x is also 3 squared of 3, right? How are we going to be able to find what y is then? What do we do? What do we do with that 3 root 3? Where do you put it in for? n. So you take this and you put it in for n. So we have y equals 3 root 3 times radical 2. You're just substituting in for the n. You already know n is 3 root 3, so you're just replacing that. We can multiply the, ra the radicals together, so that becomes 3 square root of 6, and you can't simplify that. There's no way to do so. Okay, one more. I'm just going to highlight this triangle here, making it easier. So since that is x, this is also x. And then we have to label our pieces. So label them n, n, n root 2. So label them n, n, n root 2. Okay, so let's do it in this triangle here because this is the one that has the X, okay? Like the one that I have highlighted in purple. Do you see that? So label that one. Good. So we know that this is N root 2. It's opposite the 90. These two are N. If they're on the same side, we can take them and set them equal. is the same as n, but that doesn't help us, but we can figure out what n is based on this one here. So we are going to take n root 2 equals 17 and solve for n. Nick, what would you tell me to do first to solve for 7, or solve for n, not 17, sorry. So n and the root 2 are being multiplied, so what's the inverse of multiplication? And so what are you going to divide by? Not just 2, but? Square root of 2. There you go. And then that makes this cancel out here. But we have to rationalize. So, Lexi, how do I rationalize this? Um, you multiply by... Can you simplify 2 and 17? No, so n is 17 root 2, so that means x equals 17 root 2 over 2. Sorry, I forgot the over 2 the last time I said it. Okay. 